Hello and welcome back to another video in Darija Coffee Talk with Katie, with Kautar. You can call me like whatever you want. I'm so excited about this lesson because you guys asked me like a very long time ago about like uh, making a live or a video about like slangs. And uh, when I'm saying slangs, I'm not going guys to teach you anything bad because it's live and I don't want kids to learn anything bad. So, and also uh, like respect for like elders and Morocco people because um, I just want to be respectful. So I'm going to teach you like slangs that you can use with uh, everyone. But of course there is like some slangs that I'm going to tell you, okay, don't use that with certain people and um i'll show you like some slangs that you can use as fun or like if you maybe like hear it because it's really good to learn everything so that's when you are like out and you know just i don't know walking at least you will understand what like people say and if this is something bad why they are smiling at least you know what they are saying okay so no one like want like to just um don't like not knowing what others says uh hello maria Shukran, Jumu'a, Mubarak, Alikti, like, uh, happy free day for all of you, and Kidairin, uh, Salikom. I hope you guys all doing well. I bet I put on my glasses. Param Vien, Salam, Reva Salik. Maria. It's like, happy free day for everyone. I know it's like free day 13. I don't believe in free day 13. I know, like, uh, there is, like, some things about it, I think. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Jenny, salam. Kidaira la basalik. It's like 9 a.m. like your time, I think. <laughs> That's like so much fun. Knowing that in my time it's like 9 p.m. and somewhere else in the world it's like already just like the morning. So it's like really nice to know that. Okay, if uh, is there is anyone with us new here? So basically, like talking about slangs is not like uh, for. Uh, okay, so it might be hard like for some people because if you are like beginners, like not everyone like we like learning slangs first thing when they learn a language, even though like most of people do. <laughs> it's like the first thing like that some people like learn. I don't know. Uh, but they are like really useful. And when I'm talking about slangs, they are not like like bad words, not like really. So it's not like swearing. Salam Karen. Salam Shukran uh, alhamdulillah, I'm like really good. Uh, if like someone new with us, like you can comment so that like still ask like what is like your level and where you're from. You just like try like to um, practice with me. I'm going to do like as I said slangs, and like no one like in any country know like the whole slangs. I would not like know all the slangs in Morocco just because there is always like a new like a new word created in Darija, especially especially because as you know guys uh that is just like mix of languages and uh, nowadays it's kind of like there is more of words from english science like it's become a lot of people trying to learn english in morocco so for example like there is like some like really funny words um kind of like sometimes like with our friends like just as fun i was like oh met speakish maya and that's mean like don't speak with me so we would like take the word speak from english and we put the negation of like darija and Voila, it's a new word. So there's always like new words in Darija. So um, it seems also like another example. If I was uh, telling someone, don't get on my nerves, I can say like, met near Vinish. And that's like from English, from like, get on under nerves. Yeah, it's like really mixed and it's like really funny to use. Met near Vinish. Sorry, guys, like, I look terrible today. I'm like really tired. This was like a hard day. So. Met near Vinish, it's like, don't get on my nerves. Met near Vinish, Afek. <laughs> we still be polite and see Afek. <laughs> yes, and that's like what I love about Darija because it's like really unique. That's what makes it unique. Salam Shini, Kidayan Leva Selik. I'm like really excited today, honestly. So basically what I'm going to teach you guys over here, like is uh, today is about slings, some words that you say when you're not, when you are annoyed or, when people say when they are like kind of like a little bit upset, it's a globalization, right? Yes, exactly. You want to say hi? It's like sleepy, but you want to go, so yeah. Um, 
Yes, exactly. Like you, when you go into the guys like uh, Darija, you will find a lot of words from French, Spanish, English, uh, some Arabic words, and some like words from Berber. Like you even like might find like some words from I don't know, it's like India or something like that. So it's like really a real mix. That's like what makes it unique, and um, that's what I love about it. So okay, so guys, like we just start. <laughs> so the first word that I'm going to say is like really funny and is mustasha and mustasha is um is like came from the word mustache and when like a guy or like um, any guy say about like some girl mustasha it's me like she have like a little mustache but that's not like the point the point is like it does mean is she's not pretty when you say like oh um i don't know like um aya or amel or whatever name uh is mustasha it means she's not pretty. So like I met him and he was like with Mustasha, can ma Mustasha. So when they say Mustasha, it's me like <laughs> the girl is not pretty. So that's like a just like you can guess it's not if like someone said like about someone Mustasha, you would know understand what Mustasha is. Uh, is a slang word for like saying not pretty. Okay, so. Um, if you guys like didn't understand the word or you want me to repeat it for pronunciation, let me know. So we have here mustasha. It's like it is easy for pronunciation because it's not like there is like no new sounds over there. Uh, the second one is barhusha. Barhusha is like a really funny one. Not my phone. Barhusha is like childish. If it's a guy, we would say barhush. Barhush. And Barhush is like a guy who's like acting childish. And Barhusha is a girl who like, like acting childish. So when someone say like, oh, had a Barhusha, like that's Barhusha, it's mean like you are acting childish. And of course we have a verb for it. This is like an adjective and the verb is like, it's Barhush. But when we mostly say like Baraka is like enough from men, to Barhish. And that's enough of like childish. So for example, if like you came to Morocco and there's like some kids that doing bad things, you can say like barakamat barhish, which means like enough of childish things. Okay. If you guys have any question, you so this is like one of the ways of saying it. Or like you can say makayajbnish, tbarhish, tbarhish. Okay, Jminish Tbarhish is I don't like childish stuff. So for example, if like you are like talking with your friend and they are kind of like commenting on like bad things and they think that they are like funny and you don't think it's funny and you think it's like very childish, you say like I know it's like long one. Ma Tbarhish, which means I don't like childish stuff. Maria Shai. Uh, do you mean like what is the the mean of shy in Darija? Shy is hishumi, hishumi. If it's a guy for masculine, and hishumia, hishumia for a girl, hishumia. Yes, hishumi. Number seven is like Hassan is. Almost like age, but it's like really like soft. It's like ha. So hashumi, hashumia. Where can I get names of the months or weeks, even counting also? Uh, I do have a video about like the days of the weeks, how to use them and how to say like on Monday or Friday and all of that. Uh, if you talk just like, you know, Darija with Katie and then like you said, like months of the week or something like that. Find them. And also counting, I think I did like a whole like live about like counting and uh, numbers and how to use them because we do also like have rules with counting. For example, uh, we have like numbers from like two to 10. Uh, we use plural with them, like plural nouns. For example, if you're going to say like uh, six, uh, uh, six cups, for example, you would like say sad kisan as like plural. And if like you are using like numbers from like 10 above, it's like you use it with singular things. So I'm just like saying like the whole idea. Okay, let's go back. So we are actually like talking about like slangs today. So I'm just like, that's what I'm doing. Uh, we have like the word mdildla, mdildla, 
or mdildil. Mdildil and mdildil, that's like a slang word for someone who is kind of like lazy and very slow, or like she's lazy and very slow. Once we say like someone, like she had mdildil, it's mean like they are like really like slow and they don't care and they kind of like talking slow, moving slow, doing things slow, everything slow. So we say like mdildil. But we also can use it differently because, you know, guys, I don't like vocabularies just given them, but also given the context because I think learning vocabularies and not knowing how to use them is like kind of like pointless. So I might say like Malik or like Malki if it's a girl, Mdildla, it's mean like what's up with you, Malki is like what's up with you, Mdildla is kind of like, you know, slow, and uh, probably like you are tired, that's why like you are kind of walking, like kind of sagging, all of that, so that's like when we use this adjective and it's slang, okay? And it's not a bad slang, it's, I mean like if you are like uh, talking in front of like older, like older people, like you can say that, like it's not like something like, it's not like something like you'll be shy to say. And um, another way of like using this adjective when you are like wearing something like baggy and uh, someone they will like try to describe it as like la 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 mdildil, which means it's like really like big and like kind of like <laughs> moving all around. It's not like nice. So remember like you can like write it. I didn't want to write like in English because it's like it's like the meaning like differ from like sentence to sentence so as i said it could be about like people it could be like about the people like describing that they are like kind of like slow and like heavy and just like doing everything slow it could be about biggie and she are not just like tight and like really like acting like strong if that makes sense okay um another and also it's like uh I think them Duma, something like clear like that, them Duma. Duma, this is like, if someone says someone them Duma, it means stupid or dumb. So them Duma is actually like from dumb. And it's came like two, them Duma, and it's mean dumb. If it's guy, we say like them Dum. <laughs> and it's actually funny to use, them Dum and them Duma. Okay, I think like there's like, uh, I would not like, take long for explaining that because it's like really clear. It just like mean dumb. Okay, so what else? Like kind of like a, like a huge list, and I'm already like made like a video on it. I just like have to put like the transcription and all of that. Uh, another thing, like way, another thing for using like dumb is cambo. Cambo is mean also dumb. Okay, so I'm going to write it here. Dumb. Okay, uh, thank you for this live stream. Is there is a slang for handsome? Yes, <laughs> I said this because like even like finish. Yes, we say like bogos, and it's from French, bogos, and that's like what we mostly say. Uh, we don't say zwi because we don't say for guys beautiful. We say bogos. So for girls, there is a lot of words to to describe for girl like if she's like pretty or like beautiful uh, more than like for guys i feel shy <laughs> it's like really like uh selfish but like guys have a lot of names to call a girl like beautiful but for a guy we only like use bogos uh zel uh is like he driving people crazy um it's, this is like a verb so you kind of like use the name and it's like okay or we use kind of we describe things, but not like using adjective. So the only adjective I think, if there is like not a slang that I know of, is like bogus. Yes, but for girl, okay, guys, like you can like take notes for this. <laughs> we see titiza, and you can like go wild with your imagination for titiza. It's me like pretty girl, titiza, and uh, I think it from. English, you know, like what's me. So, Titiza, we have like uh, also Bogosa, same as in English, and this is like really nice. It's me gorgeous. And we have also Coca. <laughs> That's like really funny. Coca is uh, one of the vegetables. Uh, it's green, it's like, kind of look like that. And I forgot what it's called, but like guys say Coca. And also we have Tuta, and it's like strawberry. 
I don't know why guys like call girls like strawberry, but they call them tuta. <laughs> and that's really, like, really funny. So tuta, we have like zin to mean like uh, beautiful. That's like slang to, I don't like it. Except if like my friend says them, that's it, it's hard to remember or you just like take notes of them uh, because they all mean the same thing. You don't have to remember everything. You just like find the one that you are comfortable with and one that you like and remember it. Uh, those are just like slings. I'm just like giving like some like things. But like, uh, I think like most nice one is Bogos and Bogosa and uh, for girl like uh, Zwina or something like that. But for the other ones, like they are like kind of like streets like way of talking is like slangs that they use to flirt with girls, uh, especially like for Titizal, Koka, Tuta. This is like some like um, slangs guys like use like when girls are outside, which is like really not nice. Mm, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I think it's like from French. Correct me if I'm wrong, like for people who know French, but I think it's like Bogos or Bogosa is like from French. And it's like not writing like that in French. It's like bow and go something like that. And we have like, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I think someone like asked me about a slang. <laughs> it's for a uh, Someone asked me about this and it's like slang. Actually, it's like, this one is like funny. Tfu is like the sound on like when you spit. And it's like two. Sorry if I say the take. I tried like two. So, so when you say two, like it's mean uh, it's like I don't want to talk to you right now. Like you said something disgusting. Two, like, and it's uh, kind of like also like girls like use it when they are annoyed by a guy. Like they said something or something like that, and it was like two, like, <laughs> which means I spit on you, <laughs> but just by words. <laughs> and it's like really funny and. And also, like we say it, like uh, uh, we say it, like when, like kind of like we hear something um, about like someone did, and we kind of like feel disgust, and everyone was like, "Oh, too, like Benadam," and Benadam is like Benny Adam, so I mean, it's son of Adam. So we say that too, too, Ella Benadam, and Benadam is the son of Adam. Like you can guess by the like the name Adam. So Ben is like the sun and Adam is Adam. It's like Adam and Eve. <laughs> so Ben Adam is like human. My sleep going really Katie. <laughs> and guess what time is in India right now? So yes, Tfu Ila Ben Adam. And like you find also Tfu with a lot of O if she's like so upset, just so you know. <laughs> uh, also like since we're talking about Tfu, there is like another word, one is like Yach. And yeah, we say it when we kind of smell something like Ugh, not smelling really, like good. And we also say like yeah, lebnadim to say like yeah, it's like I'm discussing with this human. Oh my god, it's like almost 2 a.m. in India. <laughs> but if like you're sleepy, you can sleep and you can it's like what's good about the lives, like they are still going to be here. Like when you wake up, you can like rewatch. But yes, is like when you are discussed by someone says something and you kind of on general, you see like and uh, you can combine the two and say like or like <laughs> and here is like you are annoyed by two things. Okay, so what is I can give you guys? Um, for example, Malik Abnadam, I'm trying to give you the, the ones that are like similar so that this way like you can write them like kind of like organized. Malik Abnadam, Abnadam is what's up with you like human being? It means like, why are you acting this way? Malik Abnadam, Malik Abnadam, which means like you kind of like take it serious, like, you know, what's up with you? Like, I'm just like talking like, like Kind of like this way, and you are thinking this way, like Melk Abnadam, which means like, what's wrong with your human being? Like, what what's like in your brain? <laughs> Again, it's like Melk Abnadam, Melk. Okay. What else? Um, <laughs> like really funny. Um, okay, so you know, like, okay, th th there is like some people who are like very lucky. And some people, they are like so unlucky. So what is the word in English for someone who's like unlucky? 
it's like super unlucky wherever like they go like somewhere something happened um i know like i know the word but i kind of like forgot so i can't like remember but we see it's mean like the face of nefs is like in luckiness so it's like like you are like kind of your face, like it's always like follow its like troubles, which mean like I don't want to say you like you are minhus, minhus is like the adjective of someone in lucky. Okay. So minhus, if it's a girl, you add a in the end. So ujahnes. <laughs> yeah, I mean like those are like really funny, like to know and yeah. Uh, actually, they are like really like um, funny to use with friends because if like you know your friend is like fun and they would not uh, kind of like feel upset if you said something like that. For me, actually, I would say it about myself. If like I was in trouble and something ha bad happened and then after it something bad happened and after it something happened, I would say tell my my friend, it's like, oh, I know next. Like I'm the face of like in luckiness which mean like i'm damned or something and that's like something i would like use it like normal or i would like to my friends uh which meaning your face is the face of like in luckiness but she would not be kind of like upset with me because she knows me and she know i'm not like saying it in a bad way but <laughs> yes we use this man who's you use it um like in india it's very really good to know Okay, so since we're talking about Ujjah next, we also are having like this one, Ujjah is the phrase, Ujjah, Lhebs. Uh, Lhebs is like present. It's like face of the jail or prison. So yes, uh, we say that about like people who kind of look scary and look like criminal, and we say like, no, 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 no. Hadak, which who Jahl has, like his face is like the face of like the chill, like don't talk with him. <laughs> so yes, uh, we use the same man who's. Oh really? So uh, okay, I told you guys, like in Darija we have like words from all over the world, I think. So man who's is an Indian word. I was wondering where it came from. Yes, man who's. <laughs> yes. So what's like the word manhus in English for you? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we? Yes, ujahn al-hibs is like the face of like the jail. It's mean like when someone looking scary and looking like they are like criminal. And also like um, girls or like guys, they would use it if they are like kind of in a fight. And I say like ujahn al which mean like your face is the face of jail because you're doing bad things. Yes. Okay, so we have another one, Uje, with Uje, Uje is face. By now, like probably like you memorized the word Uje. Uje Luil is the face of hell. That's a funny one. I don't know why they're saying that, but they are, in Moroccan slang, they are like very creative, honestly. Uje of the hell, which mean, um, I don't know why people say it. They say it just like when they are upset. Uh, just like kind of like things that people say when they are upset with another person. Or like when they are actually talking about like another person. Okay. Um, like, <laughs> this one is like when you are upset and you want to say someone like get away from me. But it's not like really bad. This one is the rug. The rug is left. Like Ujahluid. <laughs> oh my god. So yes, the rug is like um is like hide, slastic is like your bowel. But what they mean is like hide your face, which means go away, I don't want to see your face. So the rug is left sick. Remember that the rig is like to hide something. It's like to cover something. And leftic is like your bowel, like where you eat. So when we say some of the rig's leftic, it's mean like hide your face. But like not like literally, it's mean disappear. I don't want to see your face. That's why I told you guys, Moroccans are creative with slings. Yes, I've got someone to say it too. 
<laughs> uh, I hope it's not me. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, we see, like, the red slapstick. And um, what else we see? Like, we see, like, for, like, disappear, we see, like, Allah يعطيك يعطيك غبارة. This is, again, kind of funny. Allah يعطيك غبارة. Allah is, like, God. يعطيك is, like, give you. غبارة is, like, something make you disappear. So, uh, actually, this is like really like a funny one. It's like God, like kind of like give you something to disappear, either like, and we also say la yatik yara, which means God give you. This is like so creative that I love it, and it's like you can use it anywhere. Like you know, it's not like bad at all. Like you can use it like with your friend, with your anyone that like made you upset at the moment. And we say, Allah يعطيك طيارة, which means God gives you a plan. Like, so that you travel somewhere and they wouldn't need to see you. But it's still nice because it's like kind of like, like God gives you like a vacation away from me. <laughs> which means like you still care about the person who to like, I don't want to see you. So yes, Allah يعطيك طيارة. That's like a good one. You can say like, kind of like check. You can use it like whenever you want. Uh, with who, whoever like you want, and we also say la yatik metakul, which means God gives you something to eat. But it sounds like so good, but actually it's mean like, like God gives to eat that you're going to explode. <laughs> so that's why I mean like la yatik metakul, la yatik metakul. This is like so funny because they have like no bad meaning kind of have a little bit like of like maybe like we use it when we are upset but it does not have any bad meaning in it and actually if i like i will keep on with like slangs there are like way too many slangs like way too many slangs and uh they are like kind of like funny to use not like they are not like at, at best so let me see what i have here um this is like not like bad at all you just like بدل عليام ساعة بخرا, which means بدل, بدل is like change. عليا is like on me. ساعة is an hour. بخرا is like with another. Excuse me. So which means like change on me this hour with another hour, which means like don't talk to me this hour, go and change, do something, but come back another hour, which means like not this hour, don't talk to me, you just disappear till like another time, then talk to me. So when you say someone like that, it just means give me space, don't talk to me right now, I'm upset, I'm annoyed. So this is like does not have any bad meaning, it's just like mean give me space, okay? Uh, but we do have a sentence to say, like, أعطيني, like, give me space, which is, like, literally, أعطيني تساع. أعطيني تساع. If you found something, like, hard to pronounce, please let me know, so that this way I can help you with pronunciation. Uh, sorry if I'm talking fast, because, guys, I told you this is, like, uh, kind of, like, listen, not, like, literally for, like, like beginners, but you still, like, can learn something from it. أعطيني is give me. And tisa is space. So give me space. Atini tisa. Atini tisa. Atini tisa. You can also add something to it, which is had sa to mean at the moment. At the moment. Okay. Atini tisa had sa. Atini tisa had sa. Atini tisa. Give me space. Had sa is at the moment. Is it like don't disturb or particular time? No, it's mean like it's mean give me space. When we see بدل عليا الساعة, which means go away at the moment because I don't want to talk to you. But maybe we can talk another time. That's like what the sentence mean like بدل عليا الساعة بخرا. Which means change this hour. Don't talk to me right now because I'm annoyed. But you can come back another time. Yeah, it's like just kind of like seem as I give me space. Yes, yes. Don't bother me. Don't talk to me. Don't like disturb me as, as like someone said. Um, grew up and stop acting like a child. How to say 
Oh, we actually have like have like something like exactly like that. Um, we <laughs> actually I kind of like mentioned this area, but got it. Not in a good mood. Yes, not in a good mood or like someone like annoy you. Uh, okay, let me think about it. A moment, Paramvir. So grew up. Uh, we actually see like Baraka, Baraka, and Barahish. Actually, I see this early. We see like enough like of acting like a childish, like a child because Baraka is enough from acting something. Men is like from and Barahish is like is like acting like a child. Barahish is like in one acting like child and that's like the verb. And I think I give like earlier like the adjective and I gave like the noun, but not the verb. But actually we just like say Baraka and Tsubarhish, which means enough of acting like a child. Which exactly mean like, like you need to grow up <laughs> without like having to say it. Because when you say like stop acting like a child, it's still like, um, you know, for us, it's mean also like grow up. In English, you need to say grow up and act like a child, exactly. Okay, I hope it like makes sense. Um, globally, um, foot nailik. <laughs> That's one is nice. This is like really easy foot nailik, which mean pass me, pass me, which me get away from me. Don't like look at me. I'm not here. I'm like really not here. Pass me. Go somewhere else. I don't want to talk to you. Foot nailik, which mean don't talk to me. Don't look at me, nothing. Just foot me, like, get away. I will use this one as well. <laughs> You're going to use a lot from this forum here. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, who, is, who is like also going to use some of like what we learned? I know there is like too many of them, but I'm still going to make another video on like slangs, like part one, part two, because there are like too many of them. And I will try my best like to say them slowly and like write like the, the the translation and all of that. Um Sirf Halek, you probably know that's like some of you. Sirf Halek is go your way. Sirf Halek. This is mean go your way. But if it's a girl you say like Siri Halek. Yes I have to say it. <laughs> Sirf Halek. Yeah, Siri Felix is go your way, which mean like, don't talk to me, go your way. Uh, it's mean like, if I'm in this direction, you go this direction. Don't go my way. <laughs> I, I love this one. It's actually like funny. Uh, okay, let's use this one. Malikles come. If it's girl, Malikles come. Okay, let's come. Yeah, get lost. Like we have another one. Get lost is like tlah. Is get lost. That's what we see Maria for. Like get lost. It's like I was like I have it in my list too. Tlah. It was actually the last one. Tlah is like get lost because tlah is like throw. Like throw yourself. Which means throw yourself like somewhere. <laughs> which means get lost. Just like throw yourself like I don't know like from like um from my apartment, from like to the sea, something else, like just like tlah, get lost. Malkil um, Ska or Malkil Ska is like why you clean me or like, um, you know, what's up? Like we you like kind of like Ska is like, like a stick. <laughs> it's like slick stick to me. We say like Malkil Ska or Malkil Ska. Yes. So if you didn't understand like one of these, like let me know. Um, <laughs> we have like something like we see like when someone says something I think like I mentioned it in one of my videos Hamad is mean like lemon but Hamad also it means someone who's not like funny but they really try to be funny and we say like Hamad for example like someone is Hamad we would like to use the name and Hamad unta Hamad he Hamda if it's female, you add a, uh, it's mean like someone who's not funny. Okay? So, uh, this is like not like good, but okay. Um, 
Oh, actually, like, Bagla, like that. Bagla is like, oh, what is called, like, the female donkey? Do you still call it donkey? It's actually, I think it's, like, called something else. I don't know. But Bagla is, like, kind of animal, like, donkey. <laughs> and, um, but hold on, I will see, like, what it's called. Female. And, uh, as it's called, just for me, it's like Jeanette, is that what's called? That's funny, I never like thought about it in English. I think that's like what it's called. Okay, so Bagla, that's not like funny. <laughs> Whereas when someone say about girls, like Bagla is like without the A or like Bagla, it's mean like someone who's kind of like doesn't look. It's like first it's like stupid, second of all they are like just like acting like an animal. So for guy we call like mostly like hamar, which means donkey. <laughs> I don't know why they are always like using donkey, but I don't know. I think donkeys they are like cute, but they are using it for people. So yes, hamar, um, and also like people use the animal like cow for girls. And they will say, uh, Maria, what do you mean? Like for like man? Okay, so what did they want to say? Cow bagra. Bagra is like cow. Is, uh, also, if like someone called girl bagra, it means she's big. And that's not, that's not good. Combination of damp and salam. Nicholas, salam. La best, alhamdulillah. Doing good, thank you. Mzaya? So, yes, uh, Bagra, they call it for a girl. If they said, like, Bagra, it's mean like she's like big and eating everything. Salam, <laughs> from Filipinas. You help me a lot with my daily Jaguin um, to Morocco next year. I'm so glad that I was able to help you. And um, yeah, inshallah, you will be speaking more and be able to speak. That is your Biden when you go to Morocco next year. Who's going to Morocco next year? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people like uh, wanting to go to Morocco like next year, but Corona like, kind of um, kind of like stopped a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. So yes, um, Paravil. Yes, me. Oh, Jenny. Yes, are you going to? Alashin Chi is winner. Angel. I'm not sure if I'm you. Uh, me for sure, Maria. Maria, where are you from? Okay, um, actually, there is a lot of people like, uh, where's that? Where's that, that? Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry, yes, yes. You said, like, I, I remember, sorry. It's like you should mean like, you speak in like, Samazet, uh, but like, not. Um, uh, what? Does it mean there? <laughs> okay, Ashman. Ashman is like I don't know, like why, what's before, like what you said, but it's like about something you said before. Rani is like emphasizing of now, which means like I am, like uh, Brit is like I want, and Shufik is like to see you. I want to see you. Alhamka. Alhamka is mean crazy, but it's not. It's a good way. It's not a bad way. Uh, what is? Okay, so yes, like. I really like want to see you alhamka. So you guys like uh, don't feel offended if like a Moroccan guy said alhamka like they only mean it in a good way. Alhamka is like crazy. <laughs> and um, so yes, like guys like really like use some like crazy words in Morocco. So me too, but Corona. Yes, Corona really stopped a lot of people. Uh, Brazil, but living in USA through the year. Yeah, Brazil, you speak in like uh, Portuguese. But you said Latin year. How to say I'm stressed? Actually, easy, very, very, very easy to say I'm stressed. We still like Mustresia. <laughs> you see, or is it from English? It's like an Amstresia. I'm stressed. Amstresia, if you are a guy, you say like an Amstresi. Mustri, C. I told you guys we use a lot of words from English, French, a lot of things. Thank you, dear. I'm not sad. No, there is like nothing to be said about. It's like I really like everything he said. Like it's like really nice. Um, Rani Brit and Shufak and Hamka, which mean like you crazy, which mean like if you are crazy, if you don't, if you think I don't want to see you. So that's what he means. Uh, how do you say Hawaii? Is Hawaii? 
We don't change the name of like cities, most of cities. New York is New York, Hawaii is Hawaii, um, like uh, Paris is Paris, like maybe the countries that will change the names. Yes. Okay. So yes. But uh, Anna Mamstrish, yes. <laughs> Mamstrish, yes. If I want to say I'm not stressed, I would say like Anna Mamstrish, yes. <laughs> it does not want to come out. But actually, it's like really like I love it when um, you actually like don't ever like be stressed like to speak Darija because you can mix it with English and use it as a Darija words and people will still understand you mostly. If they know a little bit of English, they will like for sure understand you. Um, yeah, okay. Let me say like what do I have here? <laughs> okay, um, I'm just like looking up some slangs and I just like know like. The translation in English is crazy. Uh, for example, we say khal, or if it's a girl, khla, dalafta. And actually, it's mean like, um, it's like the black step. So it's like someone, if he have like, you know, like their feet is black, if like is black from over here, you would like to call like khal afta, which means his feet is dirty. But it actually means someone who's like, does not care about himself uh, to mean like it's like not literally their feet is dirty because we don't look at people's feet like like you already have like shoes on so but we see is like someone who's like not as like good looking or like does not care about themselves so but like actually when people are angry they just like say like oh they are just like mad and saying things they would not like mean it they just like mad and they would say anything bad. It comes to their mind, like whatever what. They just like say things. When you are stressed, you honk your horn in Casablanca. What do you mean? When you're stressed, you honk your horn. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had to read that, that twice because I was thinking about horn. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, like, it's like really like in Casablanca, the traffic is like really bad. You kind of like all the time, all the time. It's just like crazy. Yeah, it's like really stressful in Casablanca for people who live there. Really? <laughs> it's like really crazy. I, I mean, guys, like for people who never like went to Morocco, the first time you're going to go, if you go to like big cities, like the traffic is really bad. It's really bad. Is the driving is terrible? Um, like if they're like women are bad drivers in Morocco. I don't know why. Guys, they get angry. Uh, as like uh, the guy Nicholas said, like they always like honking your their horn. Like they always like you know peep 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 peep. It's like they are like so annoying. It's like really bad. It's like really bad. I can't even describe it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, but I'm really like, it's the worst thing that you will ever see in Casablanca. Marrakesh, Casablanca, um, uh, Rabat, and Sally, where I live, it's like just like too much. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I saw like how the traffic is in India, like, through like, you know, some, I don't know, like, um, some movies and stuff like that. And also, my friend, she told me that she was in India. And she told me like how traffic is in uh, Delhi. <laughs> she told me, she was like actually so surprised. Uh, she went to Delhi and she, she told us it's going to be, because of traffic is going to be there's dirt or like something like that. It, she told me it was like super clean. And she told me how crazy it was. You need to drive in Brazil, my friend, crazy. <laughs> I think probably the traffic is bad everywhere. I heard also in LA, it's like the traffic is crazy. I don't know. Is this was traffic? Traffic in the Philippines is worse. Okay, everyone say like the country is worse. I would just like go everywhere, then I would decide who's worse. <laughs> the cars barely like move. The this is like it's same here. It does not like move, and uh, it's like takes forever to go to work. I, I'm glad I I don't have to deal with that now. Just like because of the traffic. It's very musical, yeah. <laughs> you do is like so much busy, yeah. 
Is the same in Marrakesh, Casablanca? Robots take a little bit, not like as bad as Marrakesh and robot, but it's like really busy too. South Korea is crazy. Yeah, I kind of heard about South Korea too. Yes, I have been stuck in LA traffic. It's really bad. Yes, actually like, they have to do something about this. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like, I mean like it's 2020 and people like still like get stuck in traffic. This thing has to do with this. They have to create something. I mean, if someone's smart. Yeah, Maria, I love Rabat too. It's like my favorite city. And uh, Sally, a lot of people say Rabat is boring, but I like that it's like really like calm and the traffic is like kind of like normal, but not as bad. And um, I don't know, it's just like, uh, there's like something about it. It's not like too, it's not too busy. I have to say I'm worried. It depends. We don't have like literally the word I'm worried. It's like really changing like from like sentence to sentence. It's about what kind of feelings you're feeling. The tram is was very nice. Yeah, I, I was like always like using tramway when I was um, studying in university. It's a, bit, it's a bit boring. Yes, of course it's boring, but uh, I would not say that's what I like about it. But if someone just like living there, to I hear like a lot of like noises and stuff like that. It's like really nice, but um i don't know it's like for me i love like i love like busy places to go shopping and stuff but not living in there that makes sense uh for example if you said like i'm i like let like, for like answering your question if you said like i'm worried about someone we actually said i'm scared about you i'm scared like that something like will happen um if it's like and i like i'm worried about something like we see kind of like another way of saying scared i'm afraid that something is going to happen we don't like literally have the word worried if that makes sense my best friend is from layun and i hope i wrote it correctly yes layun somewhere in morocco yes in the south layun is in the south like there's like not as much traffic people are like really nice it's cheaper, way cheaper to live over there. And, um, but yes, there are just like few, few people, not a lot of people there. All this talk makes me more impatient to travel to Morocco now. <laughs> I mean, everyone is like waiting for like, for the right time to travel. Uh, all this talks, oh, sorry. The grace is very well mowed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry guys, I have like to do something. I am so sorry. It's like I have to send something I forgot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm done. Uh yeah, okay, okay. Let's see like uh, sorry, I have to see like what we also we have. Okay, for like um if you guys like heard this one. Safreta. Safreta is uh, mean like yellow. It's like or like white person. So when someone like say like to a girl Safreta, if it's a guy is like Safreta without the A and T and it's mean they are like yellow, that's like not a good uh, adjective. Because like we are using slings and something like people like knowing saying things or like it's just like if you heard that it's the insult and it's mean if someone is like uh, too white or like, um, I don't know, it's like, or like kind of like yellowish and that's like really like not nice like to say about that about people. But separate that is like really like not a good word. And um, it's just like so that like you can know like because you don't want like people to say something and like not understand it actually like honestly like i don't think that people would say anything bad but sometimes it does happen there is like always like some annoying people who are like disrespectful um azia azia or like azzi is um a word i would not like say it's, it's the n word but it's mean like a black person and that's mean like they are like talking about your color you don't want that, but it's of course that like, you have to understand what's like going on around you. And um, this is like bad when it's take this way. 
But if someone said like Lazia Diali, as mean like the black person of mine, that's like the kind of like using it in a cute way, which mean like your mind. And um, it's like ex exactly Safrita. If like beside it came the word Diali, which is like mine, that's not bad. I was just like kind of like saying like uh, the kind of person of mine, uh, which is not bad. But if it was like used by itself, it's not like really nice. What is we have? <laughs> um, okay, that's one is like really funny. I'm thinking how I'm going to describe it. Tipana. Tipana is used like to talk about like someone short. If it's female, we have the A in the end. If it's a guy, like we say without, but mostly like it's say about like the girls because the girls like tend to be like shorter. <laughs> so uh, Tipana is like from like, uh, how we call it? The baguettes, like that, are small, like the small one. That's um, so that's like the word where, where it came from. But it's mean it's like kind of like uh, when you say something about like someone short, and or it's not like good. But if like someone, as a friend said it, or like a family, it's not bad. But tipena in general is mean like someone short, tipena. Okay, and uh, what else we have? <laughs> yes, this one. Jmer Rask. Jmer Rask, it's mean collect yourself, which means get yourself Rask. And that's like, it's not a bad way of saying it. It's just like this, it's just like an advice. Jmer Rask. But also, it can mean like, you know, something like kind of like um, if someone annoyed you and like said something inappropriate and like you still don't know them this much, you see like rasik, which means collect yourself, which means collect your thoughts and leave it to yourself. Don't like say it to me. If they just kind of like start to say some things that they should should not like say, you see jma'rasik. Okay? Two ways. It's either like you can use it as an advice or talking about yourself and you say like, oh, I have to jma'rasi, uh, which means I have to get my things together. I have to just like organize myself more. Or it can be kind of like as saying to someone, Jmarasek to me, that's not cool what you said. You have like to put yourself together, don't like say things that you should not like say. Okay, is this one is understandable? Yes, this one is funny also. Wakil Lajina. Uh Wakil Lajina is he's like kind of someone ate. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to say it in a good way. Lajina is kind of uh, how you call it in English. Okay, it's not like weed, it's not like marijuana or anything. It's kind of like uh, it's like kind of like black or something. It's like kind of sweet, and I don't know like what it's called in English, but it's kind of like drugs, but not as bad if that makes sense. And they call it Lejina. And we, but like, it doesn't matter what it is. Someone say like, Wesh Wek Lejina. Wesh Wek Lejina. It's mean like, or something like that. They say Wesh Wek Lejina. To mean like, are you dumb? Like, who, are you like, really thinking what about, like, what you saying? Like, are you really thinking about, like, what are you doing? So when we say like, Wek Lejina, like you are kind of like looking like you sm like you are high and don't you're not aware of what you are doing okay so that's not literal it just mean like why you are acting like you are kind of like high or like drunk okay do you guys have any question i do want like to give more but i feel like i give like too much maybe probably going to get <laughs> yeah, kind of like that's like the, the equivalent in English. What did you smoke today? <laughs> yes. Yeah, what 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 you smoke today, right? So yes, um that's like kind of the same for us is the, the equivalent, but it's literally like what did you eat? Because that legina they eat it, they are not like smoking it, they eat it. I don't know what it is or what's in it, but they eat it. So that's why today I don't know why it's called in English because I'm not sure what it is in Arabic. I know they are like eating something. It's called lejina, 
but I don't know like what's in it. And basically, Lejina is like something that's mixed with a lot of things. And I don't know what is that thing. That's like the thing. If I uh, like guys, like probably they would know because I'm sure that guys like <laughs> used that before. <laughs> um, yeah, another one is like Sukh Khawi. Is let me Google that. Yes. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't find this on Google. I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, breast kind of. No, not to Paco. Yeah, okay, guys. Say all of the things that you have. <laughs> Let me discover things. Um, I don't know. It's not to Paco. That's like we call it hashish. It's not that. I don't know, guys. Try again. It's not to Paco. Yes, Clara, you welcome. It's um. Actually, smoking weed in Morocco is not something bad. Le, how do you pronounce il? Oh, Sorry, I have to say that again. Il Il It's actually il. It's not l. Al uh, You probably use it from Google translation because that's not like how we were like wrote it, but التحقات بالتكوين is like she, yes. So for pronunciation, it's not with L, it's just like التحقات بالتكوين and without التكوين. Uh, I am like British who probably could it in Arabic, uh, in English and you should saw the translation from Google translation uh, because we would not like use التكوين, we see تكوين and التحقات. In French, we use this term to mean smoking hashish. Like for what? Hi. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, okay, so, uh, sorry, I, I get like black. So yes, التحقات بالتكوين. التحقات بالتكوين, that's how you do pronounce it, without L. It's just التحقات. Okay, so yes, I, I was like writing this. Sokak khawi is mean like it's like literally sokak is mean like your market and khawi is empty. So you probably if like read that or you saw it, you, you would think it's like literal like sokak is your market and khawi is empty, but actually it's not. It's, it's like when we saw about someone sokak khawi, excuse me. It's mean like your brain is empty, which means like there is like no point of being like friend with you or like you doing something because so called is howy, which means like whatever the market of your head <laughs> is empty. Uh, and we say like the market because uh, in our brain, like for people who like know a little bit like about like um, what's inside of our, our brain, we have like kind of like cavities and like faculties in our brain. And which means like it looks like a market in our inside our head. So uh, that's why it looks like a market. So the market of your brain is empty, khawi, which means like there is like it's going to be a bad business with you or like a bad friendship with you, which means like there is like nothing I can do with you because your brain is empty. So when we say it about someone else, we say like, oh no, no, don't deal with this one. It's like so khawi, his market is empty. It's mean like it's going to be a bad business with him because. He's not like that person, that smart person that you would deal with. So I'll stop it. So Harry, if it's about him. But I agree with select so Harry. I don't know, like a girlfriend or something. And you kind of like you broke up with her or something like that. And someone asked you like why you guys did you broke up and you don't want like to say the details. You say like Sukha Khawi, which mean like she's like having an empty brain, like which means she doesn't think well. Um, we don't think the same, like I just mean like I can't like deal with her. Like I can't like deal with her. Same if like you are with a guy you broke up and someone asks you why you broke up, you can say like Sukho Khawi, which means the same thing. 
So kuhawi. So this is like really hand like handful way. So since we're talking about like the markets, there is another expression to mean like dhul sok rasik. Can you guys guess like what this one means? Probably some of you would like probably know this one. It's like very useful one. Dhul sok rasik. Dhul sok rasik. Dhul is enter and sok is market and rasik is your head. So enter like the markets of your head. It seems like it doesn't make sense, but it does make. Basically, it's enter the market of your brain, which means mind your own business. So when you see someone, mind your own business. It's what's funny to know uh, street language. That's actually like really funny, but actually like everything I told you guys today is not like, it does not have anything bad. So for example, Thursday classic is still going to use it. It ha doesn't have anything bad about it. <laughs> but of course, if someone like nosy and um, said something, it's like Thursday classic. Actually, you can even like say it as a you know as an advice to your friend. For example, if your friend is like kind of like um, like kind of like um, I don't know entering like some discussion and like kind of they are like uh, talking about things that it doesn't mean them or something like that. And they are kind of like trying to do some damn things. You would like say as mean mind your own business, which means like don't involve yourself in drama. And that's not, like the best advice for like some of our friends that they are like kind of like likes the drama, like others drama. So you say just like yes. Okay, I think that's like that's it for today. I, I do have like some more, but I think it's like going to be good if I will leave them just like for another day. Let me see if I can add like one more time. Uh, okay, so funny things very easy to sit in mind coffee or some drinks, just like sit down and just like try to practice and or something new. So it was like actually, it's like really. Uh, when you try to learn a language, uh, don't like take it like too much, like too serious, because we kind of like think about it. I have to do it. I have to do it fast. It's kind of if like you feel like nervous, and then you just like feel it's like overwhelming, and your brain, like your brain, is like, oh, why she's scared? Why she's nervous? Or why he's nervous? Oh, this is like dangerous. Like we have to stop. We have to block him from doing something. But when you kind of like taking the language as something, oh, you are enjoying it. Oh, this is like fun. We're going to learn some new language. This is like unique. This is like, you know, different. I can't talk with people. It's like, oh, this is fun. This is just like a hobby. Okay, we can do that. So actually like the brains like really like, um, it's worth like to protect us, to protect us from doing something crazy. So when they kind of feel that you are nervous or scared or like afraid of something, uh, it's, oh, <laughs> it's like biting. <laughs> So yes, like the arcane, like the brain is like really tricky. So when you want to say to someone, take it easy, it has to be in context. Yeah, exactly. You just like think about like some words. It's like oh, so classic. <laughs> it's like yeah, the verbs are complicated. Not really. If you find someone who explain them, it's like not really that complicated. Past tense is not a complicated. Maybe present tense, it needs a little bit of like uh, practice because like kind of uh, have some things in it, but future is super like super easy, but like that's it. Uh, I don't think that it's like really that complicated. Comparing to English, actually English is more difficult than the Asia, uh, just because in past sense, like in English, uh, irregular verbs, they are like completely changed. But in Dariya, they don't change really. Like even like irregular verbs, there is just like some vowels that we get rid of or like we leave. So it's not like really like um, that's much hard. Okay. Um, yeah. Take it easy. I'm not sure. To be honest, we don't like say it that way. We don't say take it easy. Uh, for us, if like we translate that like in the area, it would like it would not have a sense. <laughs> it's like khulha sahla. It would be like take it easy. What does it mean like why take it easy? <laughs> Can we get old Arabic via the area? What do you mean? Can you understand? You mean like modern standard Arabic, like like in the area? 
Yeah, we say like غير ساعة غير oh yeah okay so we say غير ساعة غير ساعة this is why it really like it's different it depending on situation غير ساعة if it's a girl you say ارتاحي which means just like just like relax just like relax and um, uh, but actually it's like for example like be on ease, like be easy on yourself, or, or, or like just don't worry. We say like kunhani. If it's a guy, if it's good kunhani. So it depends really about the situation. Can we get old Arabic beards like here? Yeah. Yes, actually, when you learn Darija first and then like uh, go for Arabic, you might understand, you might not. It depends. Because as I said, like uh, that is just like really mix of like languages. That's like um, that's why it's like unique. But um, Arabic is like, ha if I'm going to say, it's like really strict. So for pronunciation, when you learn like uh, like standard Arabic, you have to pronounce things as they are, like one hundred percent. For the, like the grammar, like of modern standard Arabic, is more difficult than Darija. But everything can be learned, honestly. But I don't know. I just like I find that learning Darija is more enjoyable than learning modern standard Arabic. It's just because Darija have like some like fun facts about it and some like words from different languages. That's what makes it good. Uh, okay, guys. I think I would like let you go now. It's like ten something. I have to sleep early to wake up early. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. If you liked it, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, and if you are interested in one -on one online lesson, you can contact me through my Gmail. It's like in the description box. And I will give you information that you need. And yeah, hope to see you like next week, inshallah, on Monday at like the same time, 9, 9 p.m. Moroccan time. I'm sorry, guys, I'm like really tired. <laughs> PNS, I feel sleepy. Thank you so much. Have you guys? Yes, Bismillah alaikum. You're very welcome. Jenny, la wajib. I have that. Okay, good night. God bless you. Yes. Yeah, I, I feel so crazy. I used to be like a night owl. I would never like sleep like so early, but I don't know, like uh, this like few months, I kind of like sleep earlier. Uh, are you stopping? You are stopping. Have a nice day. Yes. So now, uh, yes, I actually it's like been like more than an hour and I started to feel sleepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, it's been like, it's been like a long day for me. That's why. Here, yes, and yes, yes, and I'm the You have to add the A, so I'm female. Um, like, yes, it's like 10 something. So I probably just like, you know, get ready and probably I'll be sleep after like 30 minutes or something. Slamma? Yes, jo oh, Joanne, I miss you. How have you been? Slamma. Yeah, it's like, but I'm really like, think I'm a man. <laughs> we just take it in. Um, Simba, like, uh, like, actually like I'm live like I'm leaving. Why don't you? do live on instagram i don't do live on instagram because i have to use my phone if i'm going to record and um my tripod is a got broken so i'm just like recording with my phone so i like really hard for me to just like cut the phone and say like that it's like really like uh going to be tiring and i would not be able to type and talk and be on video that's why but people want to learn that is uh, the series or that luani dean is really good to watch. It's all yes, actually, like for that one, it's like a series, like uh, Arabic one. I kind of like watch like I put it or something, but I never like finish things. Why don't you do live? On yeah, exactly. If I'm going to do like lives on like, um, I think like YouTube is the best one because really like on um, uh, on like Facebook, I don't know. It's like never like works well with me. I don't know why. For like Instagram is um, as like guys like said it's like really like small and stuff like that. I miss live here always. If you guys like followed like uh, subscribe to my channel and you clicked on like the bell like next to it, it's kind of like inform you when I'm like posting something. 
or when I'm like about to be live. And if like you clicked on it, it's kind of inform you like 30 minutes before. This way, like you can see it. Sometimes can say to notes. No, actually, like what you have to do is there is like a bell. When you click on it, it's notify you like 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I should for you for listen less. Let's go to sleep now, Skina. Yeah, it's kind of my eyes are too sleepy. It's kind of look like I, I smoked like some weed or something. Yes. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll see you next time. Like, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned like some like useful, funny things to use with your friends or your boyfriends uh, or girlfriends even. And then like, they'll be like, why are you saying that to me? <laughs> I just tell them like uh, you're just kidding, no? Okay, I'm gonna try some words in English. Language is just translate like that is. <laughs> Not so funny. But I will see you guys like next time. Salam alaikum. Bye bye. And that's for here. Like good night for people who have like night time. And have a good day for people who have like uh, the morning now. <laughs> yes. Salam alaikum.